Look at all this corned beef I have. Corned beef brisket. One, two, three, four, five. They had an amazing sale at Wegmans. I don't even know if you have one of them near you. But it was 99 cents a pound. And it's usually like four or five dollars a pound. It's crazy, huh? So, in the Instant Pot, I'm gonna make my first corned beef brisket. I'm putting two of them in there. We're gonna eat a lot of corned beef this week. And next, maybe. All right, you like corned beef, don't you? I do. And the dates are good too. They're like till next week. So, I'm gonna take the two smallest ones. That's a big one, but that's a small one. So, I'll put them in the Instant Pot. Ain't much preparation for this. Open the lid. I put this rack inside just to keep it off of the bottom. I'm going to put two cups of water in. Maybe three. Because I put in two for one in the past. When I made these. Two. Three. You love corned beef? You know, I love corned beef. I could eat this whole thing. You know that. I ate a five pound Reuben one time with a whole, whole brisket. You remember? I'll put a link there. You can watch that. That was good. It's just so, how much it melts in your mouth and it goes down so easy. All right, let me open these without cutting myself. All right, I took them out of the package and rinsed them off somewhat. And I'm going to put them on a kind of an angle here with their shelves and get this little spice packet that comes with each one. That's all you need, see? Listen to the dog. She likes this stuff. Cut these open with scissors. Little spice packet. Ready? Them little spicy things. What's the matter, Roxy? You like this meat, huh? We're gonna have this bought for a whole week. You're gonna love it all week long. <laughs> Listen to her. Is this the third meal in the Instant Pot? You wait till we see what we do after this. Later this weekend, maybe. Maybe. Look at that. That's it. Okay, dry off my hands. Put the lid on. The musical chiming lid. See? It's gonna be great. You wait till you see this. Dingle, dingle, dingle. Pressure mode. I'm going to go manual on high for 90 minutes. From experience, I know what to do. I'm going to bump corned beef brisket. You like it? That's it. Put it in, push the button, it's done. So where do you see how full part tender this is at the end? Oh. Uh, Time's up, let the pressure out. Cover it up. Cover the steam up. They don't make a mess. Be back in a couple minutes. Smells delicious. Of course. Mm. Valve is down. This was one of the toughest cuts of meat that you can buy, and we made it real tender. I know I can put my lid here, remember? But I like leaving it off sometimes, but I can. Let's see if I can get it out of here without falling apart. Probably can. Get it back in there. Mm. See how it shrinks up, though? That's okay. That's a small piece. Here comes a big piece. Ooh. All right, let me cut them for you. Come here. Ooh, now you see how these have grain in them? The direction of the grain, we're gonna cut opposite of that against the grain. Look. The most toughest cut of meat. And look how it comes apart. That's why I can eat five pounds of this easy. And I did already. You can have this like this with potatoes and vegetables on the side. Or you can make yourself a Reuben or something similar to a Reuben sandwich. 
which I'm going to do in a second here. And I'm going to have some leftovers. And I'm going to be eating this for a week or two because I have how many other packages I have. See how you go against the grain like that? Look at it. Go taste it. Mmm. Look, it just falls apart. Mmm. Wow, it just melts like everything I make. All right, I'll come over to the stove quick. Had some butter warming up here. Probably a little too long, but I don't mind it. Got some pumpernickel rye. I'm only making one sandwich right now. I can make a double decker. Pumpernickel rye, see? You could use pumpernickel or rye or white or whatever you got. I'm gonna flip that over one time. Buttery, crunchy. And start building these. Now, a regular Reuben would be Swiss cheese, sauerkraut. I said earlier I have coleslaw, which I have because I don't have sauerkraut. But that's okay. Some people don't like sauerkraut. And normally Swiss cheese, but I have American, and that's okay too. Nothing against Americans. Especially their cheeses. Let me put some meat down. However you like it. It's going to be thick. Thick as a brick. Okay. Put another piece of cheese up there. Hold that down. And then you take your coleslaw or sauerkraut. And you can put these in different orders if you like. This just cools it down a little bit. Make a big messy sandwich if you want. That's just how I do it sometimes, you know. And I got some Russian or Thousand Island. Or blue cheese or whatever you like. Ketchup and mustard, I don't care. As long as I'm getting mine how I like it. Put the lid back on so it don't burn. Mmm, hot water. Whew. Very much better. Whee! You hear him? He's talking to us. Oops. Very went the wrong direction. Pay attention. Mmm. You like it, huh? You like it? I like it. That's our first brisket in the Instant Pot. But you can get an Instant Pot down there if you like, down the link. We got six quarts and eight quarts. Right now, the eight quart is sold out, but it's coming back in about two weeks. They just told me an hour ago. So maybe by the time you watch this, the eight quart will be there. But the six quart is exactly the same. It's just cheaper. And a hair smaller. That's great though. Instant pot is great. I'm gonna turn it over one more time. Rotate. Gee, <laughs> look at that side. Oh yeah. Alright, let's turn the heat down and let cheese finish melting. We don't want to burn it. I'm gonna take a bite then. There it is. There it is. My Reuben Kincaid. Let's take a sloppy bite. Comes with its own napkin. I'm glad we got that corned beef so cheap, huh? You? Pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. Corned beef brisket. Reuben. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Mmm. That's good. That's another great, easy recipe. If you can find them briskets on sale, that's great. But if not, they're worth everything you pay for them. They're worth it. I know it's dark around here. Delicious. Mm. Talk to you soon. I'm going to finish this. This is my late night snack. <laughs> Alright. Subscribe if you like. Keep stopping back. We're having some good stuff. Bye-bye. Instant pot. Yeah. Boing.